What up, motherfuckers? It's Leafiest Queer back with another video. I just wanted to say really quick, I know I just did a rant like yesterday, but I really, really need to get this off my chest because I just fucking hate this guy and I don't like him. He sucks. He's stupid. So uh, I just wanted to talk about it. And yes, you read the title, the dipshit I will be talking about today is Matt Walsh. So without further ado, let's fucking start. No bullshit, no real introduction. Let's start this retardation already. Matt Walsh is a YouTuber with over 2 million subscribers and tries to really, you know, base his YouTube channel around stuff like politics and people being woke and libtards or whatever the fuck this retard likes talking about or whatever and he is obviously doing just such such quality content with titles such as matt walsh reacts to benefits of dating trans woman or how about this just amazing video right here tiktokers took pronouns to new extremes yeah those stupid fucking liberals a lot of his content is just basically, you know, painting, you know, trans people and stuff like that in a pretty bad light, you know, saying like how, you know, th this, this trans TikToker is whispering lies to kids, you know. It's pretty funny that he says this. Then you remember this is the same fucking guy who likes to talk about how 16 years old is like the best age to get pregnant or some shit. Now, I can't really find anything him saying this, but there are multiple articles of, you know, you know, evidence that he is saying this type of stuff. I know my limelight. To all of a sudden act like this phenomenon of girls getting pregnant at that at, at a young age that we consider young, 16 or 17, to act, to act like it's a new thing is ridiculous. It's always been that way. Uh, even biologically, and, and this is me just stating, I'm, I'm just, right now I'm going to start by just stating facts. So fact number one, it's not a new phenomenon. Fact number two, in fact, it's a phenomenon that was more common earlier in history and for, you know, for first less civilized six times. to 10,000 years of human existence, it was a normal thing. Uh, fact three, Girls between the ages of like 17 and 24 is when they're technically most fertile. Yeah. Okay. That's biological. That's a fact. All right. I'm just stating facts. That's all I'm doing. But what happened recently, and this is the, the fourth fact, recently in the last 30 years or so, we decided that that's way too young to start a family. Why? And uh, because now the divorce we rates would probably go up and... Once you're that young, you can't really make sure that well, you know. No, all right, pause it. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's divorce rates. Uh, the reason that girls were getting impregnated at young ages throughout history was because girls and women were property. Society was, if, if, if society was different and that we stopped insisting that, that you're a kid until you're 25 and we, and we just deal with the reality that at about 16, you're an adult who is who is mature and can make decisions you are that at 16 i don't care what anybody says so it's pretty funny that this guy is talking about you know you know protect the children oh my god the children you know protect them from the evil trans people and then you're gonna do this shit but ignoring all like the fucked up shit that he's done or whatever he still gets a lot of views and i don't understand what makes his content get so much views and praise and whatever to the point where fucking elon musk is promoting it on twitter and i don't understand how that's happening because his content is really really insufferable his voice just makes his voice literally makes me want to shove a cheese grater up my ass but anyway uh let me um actually let's look at this one video all right uh th these tiktokers take pronouns to new extremes so uh, grab your popcorn, uh, grab your bleach, and let's get right into owning the liberals or whatever. But I also hope that anyone who was slow uh, on the uptake, you know, those who took a while to understand the real threat that all of this seemingly bizarre and fringe stuff poses to our society, I hope they won't make the same mistake with the clips that I'm going to play for you now. Because here we have uh, two more contributions to society from TikTok. Both videos feature young people, teenagers, taking the preferred pronoun concept to seemingly new extremes. In this first one, we find out that uh, some of these kids are actually identifying as inanimate objects. Listen. Hello, I am Doll. I am one of our object alters. Okay, look, 
maybe this might be rich because I'm a leafy, you know, I'm leafy as queer, but, uh, you know, you can notice the generational gap here because, uh, this dude is like 36 and the person he's talking about is 14. Probably shouldn't be, you know, showcasing this random 14 year old on video for 2 million of your retarded subscribers to see. When I front, I find it very difficult to remember things that the body requires, such as how to move, how to blink, how to breathe, and how to speak. For the purpose of filming this video, I have Meredith co-conscious with me, so that I will not mess up. However, this is the third take, the first two, I forgot to breathe and or speak. I hope this helps you learn. Now look, I don't want to like, you know, you know, I don't want to make this seem like this is making fun of her or something like that, but like she looks like there's like something wrong because, you know, she doesn't look like she's all there, you know, w one of her eyes is like kind of fucked up in a bit. So I I'm not making fun of her or anything. In fact, I'm more making fun of Matt because why the fuck would you showcase like this random 14 year old online that doesn't even look like like she's all there in general and you're like oh, oh look at this person with the, with these doll pronouns oh that's so cringe so fucking weird okay he obviously makes fun of like other people like in the video too and these people look above the age of 12 which is a surprise honestly so uh, let, let's get to that now i guess there's also dem demon demons demon self and if you're wondering what a self-identifying demon looks like, well, you're in luck. Hi, my name's Jasper. I use they at pronouns. Hi, my name is Liana. I use they demon pronouns. This video is how to use our pronouns. So we're going to basically present three sentences. Um, one of them is going to have one pronoun, the other one's going to have the other pronoun, and then the last one is going to have both pronouns interchanged. So Liana uses they, them, pronouns and demon pronouns. So the first sentence would be, Liana is my partner, they are cute, and I am theirs. I love them very much, and I hope they love themselves too. For the demon pronouns, it would be, Liana is my partner, Deem is cute, and I belong to Deem. I love demon very much, and I hope Deem loves demon self too. Then interchanging the two would be, Liana is my partner, they are cute, and I am Deem's. I love Demon very much, and I hope they love Demon Self too. Look, call me chronically online, I guess, but like, I don't know, like, that's a pretty simple video. Like, they give like a whole tutorial on like how to use the pronouns and stuff like that. So after that video, this guy goes on like a whole fucking ideology or something about like, uh, uh, demons and uh, uh, Jesus and all that, like, uh, society and stuff like that. It's like, nobody fucking cares. And there is something very on the nose about this. In fact, in the Gospels, when Jesus encountered demon-possessed people, they would sometimes go by they-them pronouns because there was more than one demon infesting the person. And so we may be able to draw some connections and analogies here. But I'm afraid that a lot of people on the sane side of the ideological spectrum might see this sort of thing and make the same mistake they made with gender ideology more broadly, assuming that it's kind of a this weird and wacky phase and it's not anything widespread or serious or worth our attention. Why, why are we even paying attention? This is just TikTok. Who cares? And in saner times, you know, in a culture that hadn't already sunk below the surface and into the icy depths of full-on insanity, that would probably be the right reaction. After all, demon self over there is really just a goth kid trying to be edgy, right? We had those when I was a teenager. The only difference is that now TikTok exists, so they have this unfortunate vehicle to publicize and advertise these embarrassing phases. Except that's not the only difference. The other difference, and it's a big one, is that we now live in a society that validates, legitimizes, and encourages these alternative identities. Now, and that's like cool and all, I guess, whatever the fuck he's talking about, like, uh, society, oh my god, society is like encouraging these ideologies, oh my god, Jesus or whatever, and yeah, it's cool, but you're literally talking about pronouns, retard, literally, what the fuck does like, this like society thing have to do with this besides like, oh, maybe they're encouraging the pronouns or stuff like that, I mean, in the video, they give literally a whole tutorial on like how to fucking use it, like, it shouldn't be this difficult, but, you know, Matt Walsh and his, you know, 2 million subscriber viewer base, whatever, is, like, I guess too retarded to understand anything. And I don't understand, like, who is watching this, like, shitty content anyway, or, like, why do people like it so much? Like, it's just bland, boring shit. And, like, you could talk about me and, like, how I just talk over Hey Arnold, the movie 
gameplay for like Game Boy Advance or some shit. This dude literally turns on his camera, just gets on TikTok and see, ooh, which child with pronouns can I can I bully today with my two million subscribers? Okay, apparently, unfortunately, it is news that he has literally made a movie called what is a woman or whatever or something like that some bullshit now, i haven't watched it yet but just judging based off of the fact that it's made by matt walsh uh, it's probably like a zero out of ten like actually no fucking value in it probably like the worst shit that has ever been released like on the internet but hell even like in general because it's just made by this fucking retard anyways i think you get the idea i don't like matt walsh in fact researching him for this video was pretty damn hard because just listening to this guy talk makes me want to just shove a knife down my throat and just like hope it just does not get out or maybe just makes me want to drink bleach or something yeah let's go with that yeah this shit makes me want to drink bleach i mean i've tried researching him even before editing this video when i did that people i hate on youtube video i think he was like one of the last people i talked about and he was just like and it was just like a very annoying segment to make because the video was just so fucking like boring like like i could not watch this guy's content even if i tried all i know is that this dude just wants like trans people dead or something and like his shitty documentaries and stuff like that it's just fucking ridiculous but yeah i've tried to research him far and wide just for this video and you know what maybe maybe i'm gonna need other people to do it with me okay and who am i gonna have bro i don't really have that many fucking friends but I do have some people on Discord that I can hook up. Yo, what's good? Nothing really. Alright, so I need your opinion on this, like, certain YouTuber, alright? Okay, um, I don't know yeah. if I'm who they are, but just tell me anyway. Heard of this guy named Matt Walsh, by any chance? Nope. No, not at all? No. Okay, I'm gonna share you his channel. And then, uh, okay. we're gonna see what you think, just by the titles and thumbnails, what do you think this guy makes, and, like, how do you, how entertaining do you think his content is? Dude, this guy looks like he's fucking 45, and he's, like, ranting about, like, trans people. Dude, it's crazy. Matt Walsh. Yeah. Oh my god, he makes content way too frequently. Does he? What the fuck? Dude, he does. What the fuck? Dude, three days he of, made yep, three two videos, videos in one day. day. Dude, I can't do that. Actually, mm. Bro, what the fuck? Okay, so he made this movie. Well, it's not really a movie. If I had to... I've only watched, like, a minute of it. And if I had to rate it as a movie, just based off of that one minute, it'd probably be, like, an actual zero out of ten. Like, no value, like, at all. Like, I'd probably have to get, like, an actual movie review to review that shit. But, um... Makes sense. Yeah, these titles, they're just, mm -hmm. like... They're just awful. They're, like, some generic commentary <laughs> channel. <laughs> what is a woman silenced by Twitter? How the fuck did it get silenced by Twitter? Didn't it get promoted by, like, the most famous dude, like, on Twitter? Fucking Elon Musk or whatever? Isn't that technically, like, advocating for, like, trans genocide? This dude is advocating for, like, trans genocide or something. Damn. Dude, I've been trying to, like, research this dude for 20 minutes. Bro, listening to his videos give me a migraine. Like, I don't know. Uh, maybe you could try listening to his videos. Because I can't do it. His voice is I'm gonna really listen to, um, uh... Which one? A trans YouTuber responds to what a woman is trailer. That sounds good. You listening to it? Yeah. How does it sound? I don't like his voice. It's, it's the first <laughs> thing you <laughs> say. His voice is really irritating. Not too irritating. I've heard worse, but I don't like it. Dude, me neither. What the fuck? Dude, I don't think I actually have heard a worse voice. Dude, his voice is like really irritating. Yeah, and the worst part is, like, the worst voices that I've heard, they were all, like, uh, intentionally, like, bad. This guy, I'm pretty sure, um, it's, yeah, like, no, unintentional, it's so that kind of makes yeah. it worse. Yeah. So, after, like, 
watching that, what do you what do you think of his channel? It's uh, not that good. It's pretty much just a generic commentary channel with a with a higher budget. Is there really a commentary channel? I mean, most of it is about like politics or whatever. And this dude looks like how the fuck old is he? Well, I'm gonna search him. I'm gonna search up his age. Hold on, this was made this recording or whatever. This was made before him. I started doing the Matt Walsh video. So let me um do it real. Let me see um. Hopefully he's not as old as fucking Keemstar. Dude, if he's older than Keemstar, that's hilarious. Oh, he's not. Oh, okay. I was about to say, because Keemstar's like 40 and this dude's like 36. He, Holy fuck, not, this not guy really far. needs to shave his beard too, by the way. I mean... Yeah. Like, okay, um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Um, this guy just looks like... Like some generic white guy. He doesn't have any unique characteristics <laughs> or anything. Yeah, he does. Dude, I've never seen a person pull off a beard well. Maybe besides, like, Keemstar, but that's really the only person I've thought. Uh, Alright, I think... Yeah, I think we're... I think we're done here. Okay. You know what I mean? So what All do right. you think? Okay. Alright, sick, man. Alright, see ya. See ya. Alright, yo, what's good? Hi. Okay, so have you ever heard of this YouTuber named Matt Walsh? The guy that talks about child porn all the time and the age of <laughs> men. Wait, did, what? Did he get out and just like a rapist? Wait, he did? What the fuck? Alright, let me let me go through my uh my my camera roll real quick. Uh Wait, he got outed as a rapist? I thought he was like he defending like admitted him. it on Twitter. I thought he was like um saying like sixteen years old was like the best age to get pregnant or whatever. But that was I found it, I found it. Alright, DM me it. There. And I'll probably do it on screen. What the fuck? This is a real tweet? Yeah. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna search this up on Twitter. Hold on. Fucking. Isn't this the dude that always says, like, people like trans people are like rapists or something? And shit yeah. like that? And like, are they going near children? Yeah. Yet they're gonna do shit like this? What the fuck? Yeah, Hold on, let me. Hold on, um. Did he delete the tweet? Probably. I think he deleted it. I can't find it. It's. it's oh, man. It would be something he would say, though. I mean, I guess, but I need, like, real evidence. Hold on, let me. Okay. Okay, apparently I can't find the tweet, but I do but know he did 2017. Okay, but I could still find that one fucking tweet. Well, I can find any tweet from 2017, but I guess I can't find his. Uh, he must have deleted it. Probably. Which is a lot. Well, yeah, no fucking duh, he did. Isn't there a video where he was like, Defending this like child rapist or something. He would do that, to be honest. And then you also have the accusations against Asia Argento, where a guy at 17, legal age, almost ev in, in almost every state in the union, um, willingly has sex with this you know 100 pound Italian model, making no effort to leave the room or leave the situation. Then he comes back, blackmails her, demands money for it, and gets paid. And now he says he was traumatized by his willing participation in sex acts with a woman when he was a few months away from his 18th birthday. Does that belong in the same category as a woman or a child who gets pinned down and raped by a sex predator? Wasn't he like, um, I think he was talking about, all right, this child rapist did like bad things, but you know, he was also having gay sex. So there's not really anything wrong here. Something like that. In the Catholic church, you have, um, you have some cases where, uh, like cases involving Cardinal McCarrick. You hear about Cardinal McCarrick and, and the controversy surrounding him. Now, there are accusations that he molested children. So, you know, that's in that category. But then, but then a lot of the accusations you hear about McCarrick and, and also with other, you know, some of these other things as well. These are, in some cases, he's having sex with seminarians. These are grown men. I don't really remember, but... 
because this is before I was editing them out well for video, but... Wait, he did say 16 is the best age to get pregnant. Dude, I swear he did. He did. Juan, Juan do you have the screenshot or whatever? Let me check. Hold on, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Search it up right now before anything else. To all of a sudden act like this phenomenon of girls getting pregnant at that at a, at a young age that we consider young, 16 or 17, to act, to act like it's a new thing is ridiculous. It's always been that way. Uh, even biologically, and, and this is me just stating, I'm, I'm just, right now I'm going to start by just stating facts. So fact number one, it's not a new phenomenon. Fact number two, in fact, it's a phenomenon that was more common earlier in history and for, you know, the first for less civilized six times. to 10,000 years of human existence, it was a normal thing. Uh, fact three, Girls between the ages of like 17 and 24 is when they're technically most fertile. Yeah. Okay? That's biological. That's a fact. All right? I'm just stating facts. That's all I'm doing. But what happened recently, and this is the, the fourth fact, recently in the last 30 years or so, we decided that that's way too young to start a family. Why? And uh, because now the we... Divorce rates would probably go up and... Once you're that young, you can't really make sure that well, you know. No, Girl, all right, pause it. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's divorce rates. Uh, the reason that girls were getting impregnated at young ages throughout history was because girls and women were property. Society was, if, if, if society was different and that we stopped insisting that, that you're a kid until you're 25 and we, and we just deal with the reality that at about 16, you're an adult who is who is mature and can make decisions you are that at 16 i don't care what anybody says oh yeah he did say that i'm like i don't know but i did there's a whole like article on it yeah there's like a bunch of articles i, I on did it. not find that but i did find some transphobic things uh i mean i guess those are from a few years ago before yeah i guess so um I mean, I know he didn't make, like, a movie called, like, What is a Woman or something? Well, quote-unquote movie. If I really had to judge it as a movie, I mean, I haven't seen it, but I can already tell. If it's from Matt Walsh, it's probably, like, fucking 0 out of 10, like, no value at all. Like, you'd probably have a better time killing yourself than watching it, but... Yeah. Um, I know fucking Elon Musk promoted it. That shady motherfucker. I know. <laughs> Stupid retard. Isn't he technically advocating for like transgenocide or something? Yeah. So fucking dumb. Cause like he's promoting a dude who like advocated for transgenocide or advocates for it. He would. Kind of weird. Well yeah, of course Elon would. He's like, every parent needs to watch this. I swear, dude, you cannot tell me he didn't wait until Pride Month to do that. Okay, but anyway, I think I'm getting a little bit off topic here, so um, I think that's really all I need for the video, so I'm gonna go. Bye. And so what is the conclusion to this? It's that Matt Walsh is a bitch. Alright, thank you for watching, that's all I have to say. Make sure to join the Leafiest Queer Discord server if you want, and that's about it. Peace. I'm only one step